Buna giornata and welcome to my channel. Get out of here. Buona giornata and welcome to my channel. My name is Stefania. So today we are going to be playing with Jeffree Star's Blue Blood palette. So I did actually pick this up at Morphe. This is the first time I feel like Morphe's like carried it in store the day it released. Um, so I'm super excited, but I hate waiting in line. So I literally like grabbed it and like just checked out. So I have not swatched or played with this yet. I always try to wait for this with you guys. That way I'm just as excited as you are to like see what's in here. So let's go ahead and jump in. Please don't forget to subscribe. For some reason I can't say that today. Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you guys. You've helped me keep going, help me spend my money on things that I should not. And let's go ahead and jump into this video. Mm, the packaging is freaking gorgeous. So I will say I don't have the original blood sugar palette, even though those colors definitely appeal to me a lot more. Like I feel, ugh, I just, I hate saying that, but like, I don't know what it is. This palette, just like visually, I was just like, I want it. I don't care that I don't wear blue. I just, I want this thing. And so yeah, I'm very excited. And I do usually complain about like the latest releases. I like that this one is actually like a hard case, whereas like his highlighting palette was more of like a box. But he's always like, oh, I want it to kind of look like luggage. Thing is, with this one, I feel like I can keep out in my vanity and it's still going to look really nice like as like decoration purposes. Not like I buy things for decoration purposes, but I feel like this is a lot more visually appealing than having like 15 of his like giant cases because ain't no one got room for that except for him. You know what I mean? Or people with like a giant beauty space. But for the rest of us, I'm like, we got to figure out where... To where to store this. Okay, so one of my shades is broken. Um, oh, I'm like so sad. I thought about that in store too and I was like, I should barely check it and I was like, it'll be fine. Um, but that's okay, I'll figure something out or call Morphe, I don't know. I'll figure it out though. So let's go ahead and jump into this look. I think I'll do swatches after. Let's go ahead and just put it on the eyes. I'm not gonna lie like so we are gonna do I think I kind of want to do like a neutral ish look only because I feel like everyone that has reviewed this palette or is probably going to is going to do like a very bright blue look and I definitely plan on doing like multiple multiple tutorials on this but um, I want to see how wearable this is day to day so hopefully you guys aren't mad at me in the comment section I will be doing more and more of these but yeah let's go ahead and uh let's let's see what we can get so we're going to start off with the shade untouchable which is like a bright pink or like a well i mean it's a matte pink well, i wouldn't say it's bright but let's see let's see how it is in the eyes but i need a i'm like i hope that this is something where i can use it for both and not just like when i want a blue look you know what i mean so that's why i was like let's see what we can also do with this so it's definitely a very light shade, definitely like a pastel-y, I mean obviously it's pastel pink, but on my skin tone, it's still showing up. Like I said, I did prime my eyes, and I don't, does anyone else, like, you know everyone this year has been like, now you don't, you don't set your, your base and the colors are so much better, and I'm like, I was always too lazy to do that. I only did it when I was reviewing a palette where I was like, oh, if you want to see what the bone shade in the palette looks like, I'll, I'll set my eyes today, and I'm like, Look at that. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with Celebrity Skin. And just deepen up the crease a little bit more. Okay, so that's definitely working in my crease. I do think that, you know, I think I can get a pretty neutral look out of this. I still think I'm gonna use the mint on my lower lash line because I'm like really dying to use that. I'm not sure yet. I'm like really sad. I get, I'm like, I'm really sad that the one is broken. It's not the end of the world, but I'm still just like, oh, I was going to take a picture and look at this beautiful palette. And I'm like, mm -hmm. she's seen a, apparently she saw a better day than today. All right, I'm switching brushes again. I'm going to go in with the shade Priceless, which is like a light peachy shade. And kind of just blend that up into the brow bone. So it's a very, very like light peachy shade. Like I don't even think it's coming off peachy 
Like it's very slight, like almost like a bone shade, but like with the slightest hint of peach, I don't even feel like you can like really see it. I'm gonna try to deepen this up a little bit because I still feel like in person, it's, it's definitely a shade like celebrity skin, but it's not like, you still need like a darker brown. Okay, so if you were looking for like neutral shades, this is kind of the deepest you can get without dipping into the blue. So I thought I would just kind of show you in case you were wondering if you could just kind of like pop this on as like, you know, like for a work day, like no one's gonna go to work. I mean, if you can go to work in blue eyeshadow, that's great. But I don't feel like that's everyone, you know? Which is not the point of these palettes anyway. This I feel like Jeffree Star's palettes are more just meant, like they're fun for me. They are fun, like interesting, just good color story. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm not trying to say that this should be a neutral palette in any way but just so that you can see like oh maybe i can do multiple things with it when i'm not you know in an intense mood um <laughs> but yeah this is as deep as i can get it on my skin tone without dipping into any of the other ones i was kind of hoping that celebrity skin would kind of deepen it up a little bit more but uh, it's not the case which is okay all right so next i'm going to take the shade power which is like a dark grayish tone and I'm going to deepen out that outer corner and then drag it through the crease. See, like I said, I was like, I was gonna do a neutral look, but now seeing it, I'm like, um, I need a little bit more dimension. So we're still gonna keep it wearable neutral, but not as neutral as I anticipated, you know? My gosh, you guys, I just got back. My dad just got his citizenship today. So we had his ceremony, it was so cute. He was so excited and like so happy. I swear everyone in that courtroom looked very <laughs> miserable until it was over and he was like smiling the entire time. I think he's gonna be obsessed with like CNN now cause he's so excited to vote. And like right after the ceremony, he's like, fill out my voting papers. And I was like, oh, I should put out some, some, I should probably put a little bit of powder. There's definitely a little bit of fallout, just side note. Um, but it was so cute. And I was filling out his like forms with him and he's like, I was like, are you a Democrat? You want to and he's like, why do they need to know that? And I'm just like, they're not like, what, what do you want me to put on your voting forms? And he's just like, I don't want to fill that out. I don't want them to know what I want to do. Put other, and I'm just like, you're ridiculous. But it was really, it was really cute. All right, we're gonna go in with cremated. Like blues do make my eyes pop a little bit more, but for some reason I'm always just like, I don't, I don't gravitate towards. So part of this was, I feel like I'm just at that point where I really like Jeffree Star's products and so I kind of collect them. But also it's just something different and new to have. So that's probably all I'm gonna deepen up as far as the crease goes. I don't think I wanna add in too much more. Maybe a little. Maybe just a little, little bench. But now I'm just gonna blend this back through with Celebrity Skin. But yeah, you guys can definitely see it's not bad fallout, but there's definitely some fallout. So I'll just be aware. Okay, then on a wet brush, I'm gonna take Crystal Flesh. So it's like that rose gold. You guys know how I feel about rose gold. It just, it's, it's, it's my favorite. One of my favorites. And I can't wait for like the mint tea shade. That's one I'm like dying to use. Mint tea and entitled. Okay, I do like this color combination actually quite a bit. I feel like the darker blue does go well with that pink. Um, let's go ahead. I do think I want a little bit, now that we kind of went off the whole like, we're not gonna use blues, um, I feel like now I'm like, but now I want to, and it's it didn't turn out the way that I thought it was going to with a darker crease shade. I mean, obviously you could do it with a bronzer and then just do this rose gold all over it, but uh, I think I am going to deepen up that outer V and I think I want to use flourishing and just kind of add that tealy pop into there. I'm like scared to hold up the palette or else I totally would to show you guys the shades. Um, but I'm like scared that that shade is going to just like burst all over the place. So I don't want to do that. Okay. This is more my, my color. Like I love tealy greens like this. Like tealy blues, not tealy greens. Okay, I like that pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna add on liner and lashes and then we'll do the lower lash line together. Okay, so I am back. Do you guys think I was kidding? I thought I was kidding when I said I was gonna put lashes on and I was like, once in a blue moon. 
go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs Pink of Me in the waterline. If we don't like it, we'll change it. But I just, I feel like sometimes I get nervous with blues because I feel like it's just so dark, even though I still did that pink on the top. So I'm gonna kind of just put it through there. It is a nice mirror. I'm just having chunks of eyeshadow that would like fall on me. So that kind of sucks, but it will be fine. Okay, so we're gonna take mint tea and we're just going to smudge that along the lower lash line. I swear lashes are just not meant for me. Like they always come up at the top and I push them back and then they're just like, haha, sucka, as soon as you stop filming, I'm gonna pop back up. But it's fine, I'm not going anywhere. I'm like, it's Friday, I just want a glass of wine. That's it, that's all I want right now. There was definitely a little bit of fallout and I tried to buff it out. It did not work the very best, but like I said, because I'm not going anywhere, I'm fine. This is definitely a, it's a pretty mint shade, but still very, very light. You know what I mean? Um, so what I'm going to do is take a darker shade because it's not really giving me much, you know? All right. So we're going to take this shade blue Monday. It's like this very, I, I think, I feel like I just like to say the shade periwinkle. It's not actually periwinkle though. But like, it's like a bluey purple, you know? Do I like that? Hmm. All right, we're gonna stick with flourishing. Just cause I wanted this look to actually look somewhat cohesive. Um, so we are just going to stick to that shade cause that was probably the, my favorite so far. I think I'm really scared of blues cause like my, so I never wore makeup growing up, like ever. Uh, maybe wore, I think I wore eyeliner. That was it, that was my makeup. And when I was like 14, 15, we came here and my cousin's girlfriend was like, oh, do you wanna go out with us tonight? We were going to like a concert. And I was like, yeah, sure. And she did a very blue makeup look on me and I, I hated it. Like I was so uncomfortable and I just did not feel like myself. And like, I didn't wanna be rude and say that I didn't like it. So I was just like, yeah, it's, it's fine. And I think ever since then, I didn't let anyone do my makeup. Like, I just, I don't trust anyone after that. But I think that's where my blue, like, being scared of blue started. So I need to mix some of that blue Monday in because now they're just uneven. But I really like that tealy shade a lot. I'm like fanning my eyes because you guys can see they're starting to turn red. Anytime I do my lower, like, waterline, my eyes just that don't appreciate it at all. And then right in that inner corner, we're gonna take Cullinan, which is like that very, very white shade. All right, and then we're gonna buff this out with the Wealthy shade, which is a very like nude, like not white, white, but like a cream shade. There we go, cream. All right, so I'm all about making good use of my palettes. So we are going to mix Cullinan and Crystal Flesh, that rose gold and that white, and try to use it as a highlight and see what we get. Cause I don't have any on right now. And I kind of just want to see, you know, oh, that's not bad. That is just that rose gold shade. So on my skin tone, that works perfectly fine. I haven't even mixed it in the Cullinan shade. I don't really feel like I need to now. I just thought it was going to be a little bit too dark, but oh. This is nice, guys. Okay. All right. And then we'll just pop colon in because I want to at the top. All right. So there you go. You can get a nice highlight if you're close to my skin tone. But I feel like even if you're lighter, um, that will work for you. I don't know about darker. Like, I feel like that rose gold, I thought it was going to be a little bit darker than it was. But for me, this will work. All right. Let's do swatches and... Then we'll talk about the palette as a whole. Okay, so let's go through the swatches. I always do them crooked, I don't know why, but this is, it's actually most of the palette. Um, my favorite shades are definitely this one right here, which is Flourishing that we used on the outer corner, but because I mixed it with the darker colors, it's not as bright as obviously it is swatched, but those are like the type of blues that I am definitely drawn to. Um, and then that rose gold shade for sure. I know I'm boring. I mean, what do you want from me? <laughs> um, but yeah, this is pretty much, I mean, the only things is like the pastels. I did go over them a few times on my skin tone. They are pretty light. Um, 
I do think you can get them to be a little bit deeper than like the way I swatched it, but you guys kind of saw the way it blended out, which they are nice to like blend out colors with. I wish this peach showed up a little bit more in my skin. It's very, very light and that's the shade Priceless. Um, and then here is the second row or the last row. So I love the shade Entitled, which is also that minty, I like minty chili blues. I don't like deep blues. Um, and then obviously all your darker shades. So the only ones I would say is I thought Celebrity Skin, I love this shade. I just wish it was a little pinch darker than what I thought it was going to be. And then I will say when looking at the palettes, the shade Deceased, which is that center shade, does feel particularly like dry for what it usually is. I still think it's going to go on the lid beautifully, um, but just trying to give you guys everything I can out of this palette. Um, I feel like there's been some where he changes the formula quite a bit and some of that like the Thirsty palette I like absolutely love. I would say if you are looking to get a new palette, the Thirsty palette has been my favorite from him. But there's a few different, it seems like a few different formulas in this one when it comes to the shimmer. So you guys can see like this one is definitely a little bit chunkier, definitely has those glitter flakes but if you guys can see close up it is a chunkier shadow which is fine i'm not complaining about it i'm just trying to give you guys the tea so that is pretty much all i have to say though um i mean shade wealthy i don't really need bone shades in here to be honest and i wish this is a blue palette so um my only thing i would say is like i wish he would have done maybe just an actual minty green uh, like foiled shade I would have loved that but that is just my you know that's just me being me because I love mints overall though I still feel like this is a beautiful palette it is gonna be one of those palettes like like I said I kind of bought this just because I love Jeffree Star and for some reason it just looks visually appealing to me but because I don't work with blues often I'm gonna have to like really play with it which is fine it's gonna challenge me to play with new color so I will definitely be doing more looks this week so make sure you're subscribed so that you will see them but I feel like blue is definitely something you have to like finesse and learn how to use to make it look pretty and not like, oh geez, you know, like, cause that's, that's how I felt about blue. Um, so I am going to be doing multiple looks with it and playing with it, but for the most part, I mean, I like my look. I feel like this is still a pretty look where I did use the blues, but it's very wearable and that's kind of everyone wants that fun moment but at the same time like I bet you how many youtubers do you think actually step out of their house like that that's what I want to know um but yeah I, I will still do those looks because they're so much fun to film and just to do but I also want to see how much I can get my money's worth out of this so overall I'm happy I got it but I am gonna have to like play with it more I would say if you are looking at it and you love blues then go for it if you're looking at it and just saying like I don't know I'm on the fence just really kind of think about like whether you're going to use it or not. Um, and like I said, if you're just looking for a Jeffree Star product, then I would say the Thirsty Palette is my all-time favorite palette in general. But yeah, I'm just going to have to play with these more and see what I can come up with. And it might just be one of those palettes that really grows on me. Like, I am by no way saying that I shouldn't have got this because I'm not a blue person. I literally got this knowing it was a blue palette, obviously. So I just need to play with it more and figure out what I like to do but for the most part, I really like my look. And there's part of me that's like, should I go exchange it because this shade is broken? But I also pressed it into the pan and I'm like trying not to sweat the small things. But at the same time, I want it to look nice, <laughs> which I know is ridiculous. But anyways, that is it for me. Let me know your thoughts down below. What shade you want me to use next? Like I said, I will be doing multiple looks this week. So Probably the next few videos is going to be the Blood Sugar palette and just messing with it. I really like this as a highlight too. I'm like, ooh, mm, mm, yes. Okay, that is it for me. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.